Hi friends. Welcome to Hear Listen Speak. I am Sebi Maria Manuel and I am a clinical audiologist. So in our previous video we discussed about effect of mobile phone radiation on our ears like burning sensation around our ear, pain around our ears and tinnitus or ringing in our ears. So hearing related issues by using mobile phone occurs mainly due to mobile phone volume than due to mobile phone radiation. So let's see what are the harmful effects on hearing that is caused by mobile phone volume. In my clinical practice, we do lot of hearing health checkups on youngsters. When we do their hearing evaluation, we see lot of disturbance in high frequencies, especially in one side compared to the other side. When we take a detailed history, majority of them agree that the side where we see the hearing disturbance is the side where they use their mobile phone. And in few cases where we saw disturbance in high frequency in both the ears, majority of them agree that they listen to music more than two or three hours a day and it's been a habit from quite some time. Now, why is it important to pick these changes at an early stage? All these changes are very subtle and we may not even observe these changes that's happening to our ears. But these changes that are happening, they are irreversible changes, meaning to say this cannot be brought back to normal. So only thing that we can do is stop it from further progressing and causing a severe hearing loss to our ears. Now, what are the signs that helps us to identify these early changes that's happening in our ears? One is tinnitus. Tinnitus is nothing but ringing sensation in our ears. This can be continuous or intermittent. Now, if any of you observe these ringing sounds in your ears frequently, then it is a warning sign for us. Second, in a group conversation, when you are in a big group of five, six people and you feel others can hear better than you, then that's not a good sign. Third, if you are in a group conversation and you are asking for more repetitions compared to others. Fourth, most of us have a preferred side to use our mobile phone. Now, over a period of time, if you feel your clarity of the mobile phone is not good in one side compared to the other, then that means there is some hearing disturbance that is happening in that. Now, if we observe any of these warning signs, what should we be doing? It is very important to go and meet an ENT doctor. He would be checking your ears for any infections and he would be referring you to an audiologist for a further hearing evaluation. I know we can't stop using our phone, but we can always make modifications in the way we use our phone, which helps us to keep our ears fit. Being an audiologist, let me give you a few simple tips to reduce the effect of volume on our ears. The golden rule is to keep the sound source away from our ears and to reduce the duration of our mobile phone use. How can we implement this in our day to day life? The first way is by using the speakerphone. Speakerphone helps us to keep the sound source away from our ears. If we are in a situation wherein we can't use our speakerphone to make a call, then we can use headphones, earphones or earpods. Between headphones, earphones and earpods, headphones are better than earphones and earpods because the distance from our eardrum to headphone is a bit more than the distance from our eardrum to ear ports or earphones. Now, when we are using our headphones, there are many options in headphones now. There are headphones which active noise cancellation technology and this definitely helps us to block out the background noise and in turn helps us to listen at a much lesser volume. If we can't use the headphones and we have to use the earphone, always make sure we are putting the earphones on both of our ears. It helps us to cut out the background noise so that we need much lesser volume compared to listening only in one side. Last option is using the handset itself. While using the handset, always remember the 60 dB rule. 60 dB rule says that whichever gadget you are using, the overall volume that you are using should be less than 60% of the total volume. Example, if your phone can go up to 10, then make sure the volume that you are using is lesser than 6 or equal to 6. If you are on a long call, try to switch between the ears so that cumulative effect of volume 
doesn't happen in one particular side. Now, if you have a long call of more than three to four hours, it's always better to take a listening break in between. Listening break can be taken as a five minute break every 30 minutes or a 10 minute break every 60 minutes. Technology has definitely made our world a better place to live. Let us use this technology wisely. So in my next video, I will speak about few scenarios wherein we can apply these tips. I hope this video was useful. See you all in the next video. Till then, happy hearing.